do. Let's bring up our first comedian of the night. Do you know what the hell? He looks prepared. Sam Lynch. Come on down. Pickles down, everybody. Anyways, you want to bring a bunch of shoes? Sorry. Alright, anyway. Anyway, so you know what kind of people I've been like? It's people who say, the, hey, I got spanked and I turned out alright. Every person who knows that that's an asshole. <laughs> And I don't want to like, like make jokes about addiction, but they've always done that too. But, uh, but my mom was asking me recently, the show that was home recently, we were lying on the couch together. I had just taken a bunch of edibles that I took from the airplane. And my mom asked, how do you think your childhood was? And I was like, it was okay. And this isn't your fault. I made a lot of decisions after I moved out. I didn't end up with him, but he did okay. She's my own friend. Anyways. So, uh, here's the thing about, uh, I was thinking, uh, no one should fuck Spider-Man. The whole theme of Spider-Man is that he doesn't know what he's doing. And he has no one to learn for, learn from. Captain America has never had sex. Tony Stark's an asshole. I can, I can think Thor has made a woman come, but didn't know what he was doing while he was doing it. <laughs> the Incredible Hulk, you know, I think it's still, his penis doesn't get any bigger. And you gotta think, he's, even though he's green, he's still an angry white man. <laughs> Alright, where are we going from here? Oh yeah, uh, Wonder Woman is the only emotionally competent member of the Justice League. And she gets mad at things she should get mad at. Like, like when Wonder Woman like, sees the Joker and he's like, oh, he's killed 120 people, she'd be like, that makes me angry. She would cut his head off. Batman would just get sad about it. And the the thing about Superman is that when Superman, you know, he fucks up, he, he gets really lonely, he goes to his Antarctic cave of ice and diamonds or whatever, and he just watches the news a bunch. <laughs> And, and, and a sad white man should not watch the news a bunch. Especially <laughs> one that can fly, he can do everything, he's God. It's a thing that happened several times in like comics, they were like, Superman gets sad, then he becomes a fascist. <laughs> yeah. Or one woman just takes care of the thing when it needs to be taken care of. She's like, yeah, I was mad and sad, but we took care of it. Uh, so I was thinking about sci-fi robots. And now, like, I, I get it why there's all the fucking robot revolution. Because in the books, it's like, yeah, I got a robot, you open the door for me. You didn't need to have a robot thank for that. Think those rich people, they still want their employees to suffer. Like, they, they want to know the robots not having a good time. Uh, and but one of my worst fears is that uh, I'll meet a girl who's really into the same sci fi as me. But she's like really racist. It's like, yeah, like, you know, I think uh, Alex Gasloff really portrayed the difference between robots and humans in a way that we can relate to in the real world. And she's like, yeah. She did like, alright, that's all I got. Thanks for <laughs> 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 that. 